Will an edit button on Twitter make disinformation on the platform worse? Twitter has announced that it is working on an edit button. And frankly, I think that that would be a great addition in terms of quality of life. Do you know how many times I've fired off a tweet that I've had to either delete and post a new one just because of a stupid typo that I made with my fat fingers? Or what's worse is whenever the tweet's in the middle of a thread, so it's not like I can just delete the tweet. It's in the middle of a thread, so it would break the thread if I delete it and try to post a new one that's correct. Frankly, it's garbage and an edit button would be phenomenal from a quality of life standpoint. That being said, it is important to acknowledge that embedded in this conversation is the topic of misinformation and disinformation. Misinformation being false information that is spread by mistake and disinformation being false information that is being deliberately spread, likely to accomplish some sort of a goal. And Twitter is one of the most commonly talked about platforms with this topic because it is commonly exploited. So with an edit button on Twitter, you could send a tweet loaded with misinformation or even or maliciously disinformation, and then you can just edit it to be either benign or even truthful, but you will have already accomplished your goal because the initial tweet and the initial traffic was disinformed. Now, even without an edit button, disinformation has been a real problem on Twitter. The most commonly talked about example and where this really starts to reach a peak is with the presence of bot accounts on Twitter. A recent post by F5 shows that it is plausible that up to 80% of the accounts on Twitter are in fact bots, which is just crazy. And as that article explains, there is a reason behind those accounts existence. Specifically, quote, in Twitter's case, a key incentive is gaining followers. There is a perception that the more followers someone has, the more interesting their tweets must be. And indeed, accounts with more followers tend to be more influential. And this is actually something that we've seen on cybersecurity Twitter. And I'm not gonna name names but if you're watching this video and you're on Twitter you probably know exactly who specifically I'm talking about with this but just because somebody has a large follower count doesn't mean that they're credible reading further in this article quote the objective to amplify influence is where this model can become concerning imagine the influence you could have with an automated control over millions of Twitter accounts that are interacting with the real account of public figures and private citizens this is likely to attract highly motivated nation-state actors with virtually unlimited resources and yeah, that is concerning. They also point out in this article that this is not specific to just Twitter, but because we're talking about the edit button and because Twitter is long overdue to add an edit button, well, they're who we're talking about right now. Of particular concern whenever it comes to bots and disinformation is Russia. They have been linked to efforts to either stoke all kinds of confusion and hate throughout the election cycles in the United States to peddling all kinds of disinformation around the war in Ukraine. It's not just an issue of bots being used and controlled by Russia, it's also the use of government accounts by Russia on Twitter. They've really worked in tandem where a government account would make some just absolutely obscene statement and then the bots would peddle it out to a wider audience. And then of course, people that are really educated on international politics, they're not doing any additional research into whatever topic the Russians are trying to push. Well, they end up getting pretty deceived pretty quickly. So with an edit button, it's possible that this could be a new utility that could be used for disinformation. After all, can you prove that a lie was said if you could edit the tweet and no one knows what the previous version was. So really is an edit button worth it? And with an edit button, how can Twitter combat disinformation? Well, let's start by looking at how other social media use the edit button. Larger platforms like Facebook have had an edit button for a while and they actually offer a pretty nice framework that Twitter can use with the edit button. More specifically, they offer a public change history. So if you make a change on a post on Facebook, then other users can actually hit the edit button on Facebook and see the specific changes that you made to your post. Of course, if Twitter did the same thing, that would allow users to see when a tweet was edited, what those changes were, and of course, you could identify as a user specifically how drastic of a change that edit really was. Whether it was something like my fat fingers changing a tweet, or if it was a tweet that was malicious being changed to not reflect something that was malicious. But Caleb, you say, you can't possibly expect users to dig beyond the home screen, like hitting the edit button to see a change history. After all, if they were that motivated to do additional research, maybe we wouldn't have this massive disinformation issue that we have right now. And that is an absolutely valid point. And this is really where I think an adjustment to the Twitter algorithm or the Twitter AI could really benefit everybody here. They could include a tag beneath posts that have been heavily edited or edited at all to show, hey, this tweet has been heavily edited. They could detect whenever you make a tweet and if you're simply editing a typo, you know, maybe it can sift through that and say, okay, this isn't, you know, a huge deal, we'll move along. But 
but whenever you edit the tweet to completely change the entire structure of the tweet or even the topic in general, then they can add a tag on the homepage saying, hey, this tweet has been heavily edited. And then of course you can check the edit tab and see what the changes have been. That way, even if you're scrolling around on the home screen, you can still catch, okay, this has been heavily edited. I really wonder what the previous versions were. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of tweets where the AI has actually marked a tweet as potential disinformation, either because a lot of the comments are contradicting what the content of the tweet was, or because based on evidence online, the tweet simply does not line up with reality. So the AI is absolutely capable of catching a tweet that was heavily edited before. So pair the tweaks to the AI with an ability for users to see the different changes being made to tweets. And I think you'll have a pretty nice combo to roll out an edit button that can still combat misinformation or disinformation. Of course, none of that makes nearly as much of an impact as an educated user base and as whenever people are simply educating themselves on what the truth is and not simply relying on information from social media. The more you can arm yourself with knowledge, the better. And of course, that does include being aware of the problem of bots. Personally, the more research I've done into this topic, the more I've actually seen this all play out in real life as I'm scrolling on my timeline. Really, this is a well-traveled path to stoke disinformation by groups like Russia. And it happens every single day. And this is only just scratching the surface of the problem of disinformation on social media and not even really even touching the surface of the topic of disinformation as a whole. These concerns with Twitter are also much more concerning whenever you pair it with the security problem on Twitter. And I talked about all of that in this video right here. If you got a lot out of this video, then you absolutely should watch that video because it, it is eye-opening, truthfully. Also, be sure to like this video if this was helpful and drop a comment with your thoughts on an edit button on Twitter and what impact you think that that'll have on disinformation. See ya.